Alright, peace y'all. What's good? It's your boy God Science up in here with a new video. Look, man, I know everybody out there got problems with polite. I know a lot of people don't like him because of all the things that's going on. Um accusations of him not sending people who order products from his his, his company. We know about all the uh, I mean the brothers even be, uh, been accused of setting up being arrested, I mean, you know, it's a lot of shit surrounding Polite, I know that, um, to tell him it's not a lot of people, Is yes, there's people out there that's hating on him, but it's not everybody, alright, there's some people out there that's caught up in the middle, that's on the fence, that want to believe in his brother, but there's so much shit that you're hearing, you don't know what the hell to believe, alright, I'm sort of describing what how I'm caught up and I know there's other people out there like that now like I said you know I never met polite before I'm not close up to him so uh, we're looking from a distance we're just speculating I don't know other people say they have evidence of it there's people that's been coming out I'm not going to get into that this is about the information that him and Tommy was talking about. Now, I agree with a lot of things Tommy says, and because of that, of course, people are going to call me a coon and a sellout, which is all good. I don't really give a shit about words. Um, I know who I am, you know what I'm saying? Um, I can't deny that some of the things that this brother talks about is true. Now, for people out there that's going to just say he's full of shit and don't like him and, you know, can't admit that some of the things that Tommy brings up is on point. Uh, I think you know, being honest, man. All right. Um, same thing with polite. Um, with all this controversy surrounding him, he does speak um, some truth. All right. Um, people accuse, you know, screamed on him for calling some black people animals. All right. Now I understand where he's coming from. He might not set it in the way people wanted him to say it, but come on, man, come on. You gotta, we gotta be more honest, man. Did I mean, from my experience, and that's all I could talk from. He's he's right when he was talking with Tommy, and he talked about how, you know, you try, you want to love your people, people that look like you. You know what I'm saying, and. It's hard because of the shit that some of them now, I'm not putting all black people in this category. And I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of people don't like Tommy is because when he refers to all the, the shit that, you know, some black people do, he does, he doesn't say some, S-O-M-E, some, 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 some. If he would say some black people, I think more people will be, but when he says black people, it sounds like he's putting all those people in one bowl, you know what I'm saying, and then when you display this in front of white people, you have a recipe for people to call you a fucking coon, <laughs> alright, but, you know, like I said, man, I agree with some of the, th I don't agree with everything Tommy does, I think he's over the top sometimes, I think he says things and gives it an extra kick to get aroused and get you know views or whatever i mean the man he, you know he gotta eat so i mean i'm not here to you know criticize him or anything like that you know what i'm saying but a couple points that they brought up in the um the debate that i agree with um for one uh polite talked about cellular memory now I don't know if this is scientifically um, proven, you know what I'm saying, but you know it's it's a um, a good perspective. I mean, there has to be some reason why we can't stand each other. Now, I'm not saying that other other races don't hate, don't like each other, but I mean, come on, in the black community, we got a lot of that, man. We don't like each other. We like to fight each other. We sometimes drool at the mouth to get at another black person. When, when somebody else from another culture does something to them, they're not really that uh, forward to, to go at them, but they'll go at their own people. Now, we know all the, you know, slavery things that was programmed into, and this is one of the reasons why I can't stand the, the, the conservative right, the right, excuse me, <laughs> damn, 
tongue tied. The right wing people out there, especially for what went on in in Chicago with those teenagers, which was very disturbing and sick. You know what I'm saying? But see, like I said in my other video, I know the cause of it. You know, now they have something to point at. Oh, you know. Uh, I'm not even, I can't even remember the dude's name, but I was watching one of these dudes and he's a, a look at what they did, look at what they did, you know, you, you're calling yourself out and you're making yourself look just like a, what, what you are because you're not giving any, any solutions. Now, I'm not putting an excuse up for these kids, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I know the reason why they're doing shit like that. I knew how, I know how to dehumanize them. I know how they have lack of education. I know all of this. Why don't you bring up those points too when you're pointing out the the shit that black people do? And this is to those conservatives out there. All right? The racist ones that want to hide behind the fucking conservative name and point out all the the, the uh, behavior that black people is doing, but not pointing at the cause for all of it. Not an excuse, but tell both sides of the shit. Don't just point out the crap. See what I'm saying? But um, anyway, let's get back to the uh, the discussion because I'm going off topic now. Um, he talked about how you know when the slave master raped the the woman, how the the traits could be you know. Uh, passed on to the child and that's I mean that's that's interesting what he was talking about like I said I don't know if it's scientifically true but I do believe that you know DNA uh, say uh, it's memory in there you know what I'm saying and one of the reasons uh, I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of uh, Afri want to call them African American blacks whatever scared are scared of Europeans because that shit was embedded in us fear was put in us. I mean, that goes back to the 120 lesson from the nation of, uh, of gods and earths, you know, uh, to put fear in. So it could be, uh, I think, it, you know, that's a, it's a good topic to discuss because we need to, we need to want to understand why the fuck we hate each other so much. Why the hell, uh, you know, the crabs in a barrel syndrome goes way beyond black America. That shit goes to human beings, period. I don't think any human being likes to see another human being do, do good. I was um, guilty of that. The only difference is I acknowledge that fucking envy and jealousy and try to destroy it and chop his head off. While other people will embrace that shit. And they will, I mean, like I said, that, that goes way beyond just black people. That's human beings, period. All right, so um, I'm not gonna cover everything in the um, debate, but just the things that uh, I, I really um, agree agree with. Um, he also talked about uh, mixed people not being black. Now, I don't know where this came from, but a lot of people, you know, if say a, a black man and a white woman had a baby, they always link it to the father, so the baby will be called black. AKA uh, Barack, o Barack Obama. Barack Obama is half white and half black, but people co consider him being black. Um, I don't agree with Tommy on that. I don't think I, I call him black. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't think they're not black. So, uh, you know, I don't agree with Tommy on that. Now, that's a whole different topic of um, interracial dating. Um, I never had a problem with people that love each other and, and they want to be together and they're from different races, so the fuck what? I mean, uh, people might disagree with me on that. Um, I dated out of, you know, I, I, I had did interracial dating. I dated, um, whites white women are uh, Hispanics and it wasn't it wasn't a secret thing like let me go out and look for a white girl or it was the girls that mostly approached me because I was kind of I was shy when I was younger you know what I'm saying um, I didn't really approach women like that but women more approached me not till I uh, got to uh, probably my early 20s when I developed more confidence but 
at first I was real shy. So the girls that would approach me would be the white girls in the in the um now I can admit that shit. And for all those dudes out there that's calling me a coon, go fuck yourselves because y'all do that shit on the down low. Y'all know y'all be watching white or looking at them white girls, freaking drooling at them out, wondering how it is to view at them. So just come out and say the shit and stop the bullshit. All right. Now I'm not saying everybody agrees in doing that, but a lot of dudes do that shit and keep it on the down low. So stop the bullshit, please, y'all. All right. Let me go into some more um, stuff in the. Um, now, I never, I know, like, all right, I got to give this up to Polite. He can critique that Bible, <laughs> okay? I never met anybody, well, I won't say, never, yeah, I never really met anybody that can destroy the Bible like how Polite does, all right? He brings up some incredible, I mean, he just, I just agree with him on that because it's the same questions that I asked, all right? Like I said, I was brought up in a, um, Christian family, you know what I'm saying? And through that whole growing up, I always had questions. I always had questions. The same questions that polite would ask. Same questions. And one of the reasons why I never asked them questions because you're not supposed to ask questions. All right. When you ask questions and you question God, you might go to hell. Okay. You might go to hell for a lot of things. That's one of the things I don't like about religion that and what they were talking about. All right. He talked about how. You know, your the religion you're in is probably is is you don't sometimes have a choice. Is where you is who you born. I was given the example of somebody uh, growing up in India, for instance, and their whole family was is say was Hindus, right? He grows up and he becomes a Hindu. He just becomes it because his family is it. That's all he knows. All right. Then you go across the uh, the across the world. You got a. Uh, um, a Christian. Now the Christian says, "All right, if you don't if you don't accept Christ as your savior and be a Christian, you're not going to make it in heaven. You're going to go to hell." So I I I made an example of. So you're telling me that even though this guy that grew up in India, he's Hindu, but he's a righteous being. I mean, he he's being the best he can be. He practice righteousness. Nobody's 100% righteous. We do the best we can. We strive for that perfection. You know what I'm saying? But you're trying to tell me just because he's not a Christian and it's not his fault he's not a Christian. He grew up a damn Hindu. You're telling me he's going to go to hell because he didn't convert to being a Christian. That is very... That, that right there makes me question religion and look at it from a whole different perspective because you know God is supposed to be loving caring understanding but he's so caring loving understanding that he will send somebody to hell because they're not a Christian and every religion believes that they believe they're like polite was saying on the every religion believes there's the is the right one that's the right way and if you're not living that way you're not gonna make it so you can be a good citizen and be righteous, whatever you want. You're a Hindu or a Muslim. You're not a Christian or Baptist or whatever. You're going to go to hell. You know what I'm saying? That's scary to serve a God like that. Very scary. All right. <laughs> so, I mean, that part is probably the, you know, one of the reasons why I, I keep an eye on polite and, you know, listen to his. Because, like I said, try blocking out all that fucking shit with the, you know, the fraud and, 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 uh, and everything, you know what I'm saying? Those are valid. Those are things that need to be, um, I mean, it's like I said, there's too much, it's so much people that came forth you know, uh, accusing him of things, all right, and like I said, it takes away, uh, I think it hurts him, because it's a lot of people out there, he speaks, he speaks truth, and a lot of people say to me, well, that's the way he gets you, he speaks truth, he reels you in with the truth, and then, I don't know, you know what I'm saying, all I know is that what he was talking about, things that he talk about sometimes is things that I thought about. You know what I'm saying? Especially with um, 
the Bible. All right. Now I could be, I might be looked at as a, as a freaking devil worshiper now for even saying these things, for even questioning the Bible. But um, I mean, what what do you want me to do? You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't deny it. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's about it for this. Um, like I said, I don't agree with everything these these two brothers talk about but it's a lot of things that they talk about is very on point like Tommy talks about you know um, the, especially the crabs in the barrel <clears throat> in in our in our community all right because I can tell you I mean I got a, a nice car all right and when I get in my car and drive around I look at people's faces sometimes and you can see the hate you can see the envy you can feel these things okay you can start feeling this shit and I you know I sit and I drive and I'll be like I can't I can't believe it <clears throat> how people will, they don't even know you they don't even know your story all right they don't even know who I had to lose to get that fucking car <clears throat> they don't give a shit about that all they care about is that you're in something nice and I'm not. And if you in something nice and I'm not, I'm going to fucking hate on you. Okay? Like I said, I was guilty of doing this shit too. But the only difference between me is I acknowledge that shit and I try to destroy it. Every time it even pops its fucking head. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a sure good way to push away your blessings. You know, people, we're trained to always want more, 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 more. It's never enough. It's never enough. And it's nothing wrong with having more. But I, be grateful for what the fuck you have. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't have what you have. And the only way you get grateful for what you have is when you lose it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So I said one well, then one of my New Year's resolution was to be more grateful for what I have. And stop comparing to other people. You know what I'm saying? It's you know, it's always this this subliminal competition thing among human beings. I mean it could be your friends, anybody. There's always this 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 subliminal competition thing is I gotta uh, I gotta outdo you now. They don't come out and say that shit. They won't come out and say it, but you can sense it. You can see. I mean, people try your fucking intelligence. You know what I'm saying? That's what pisses me off. They they really think they don't. You don't see what the fuck they be doing. It's not even a seeing thing. It's a feeling thing. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's a whole different um topic. Anyway, that's. All I got on this video, um, like I said, um, they brought up some some good points in it, so um, I took that. Um, I'm not even gonna get into you know all the things about you know polite, but I just want to say it's a lot of people out there that's it's not it's not only hating on him because of what he have. It's a lot of people out there that on the fence and they don't know what the hell to believe because all of the things that's going on and that's one of the problems that I wish he dealt with earlier because people now that looking at especially the youth looking at him and want to you know fuck with him and, and and listen to him they scared because of all the shit that they're hearing but anyway man y'all um appreciate y'all support appreciate y'all for subscribing for listening to what I gotta say you know what I'm saying I appreciate that y'all stay safe out there y'all stay blessed man and um I'll catch y'all up on the next video. So, um, peace out and forgive me for all the rambling going off topic of this video. You know what I'm saying? But I just freestyle doing this shit, man. So, um, hope y'all appreciate that, man. Alright. Peace.